Okay, Bob, I'm on the fridge here. What are you doing? Charlie. <laughs> Hello, sweet boy. Hello, lovelies. Okay, so I know it has been a minute since I posted anything, but I thought with what's going on, there were a couple of things I wanted to talk about. First, can I just mention the greatest thing about having such long, thick hair is that I don't have to wear earrings when I'm on camera. Unless my hair is up, of course, then I obviously would put some in. That just tells you how lazy I am. Kidding. But am I? So, there's a couple of things I want to discuss. And um, I want to start with, and I'm so very sorry about this, Cuntlin Jenner. And yes, that's how I'm referring to her. And if you don't like it, then I would suggest the unsubscribe, unfollow button. Cuntlin Jenner. So... At the SP Awards, she has this incredibly iconic moment where she says that she's so proud of every trans youth competing in sports as their true gender. I remember crying watching that. And the reason why I cried watch, fuck, I don't wanna cry now too. And the reason why I cried watching that was because I remember being a really young trans kid and just wishing, hoping and praying that someone would see me. Like, I wished that anyone would see me. I wasn't on TV. I didn't exist there. I, I, I barely existed at home. So when I saw her do that, I was so happy that all these little transling, little babies would finally see themselves represented and would finally begin to believe that they could dream and hope for something better. God, I wish I had tissue. I'm sorry, I don't. So, yeah. Um, and then this cunt, I mean, sorry. And then cuntlin. <laughs> sort of takes the sting off a little and hopefully doesn't get me banned from YouTube. And then Cutlin decides that she is going to run for governor of California or, or whatever the fuck it's called. Fine. No problem. Use your celebrity for whatever you want to use it for. And then of course TMZ asks her the question about, um, trans youth in sports and she responds with with sorry um cisgendered boys should not be allowed to play sports against biological females and let me tell you something the only thing that what she just said was was to perpetuate the stereotype and the rhetoric brought on by cisgendered men of course by the way that men are somehow stronger than women. And let me tell you something, they ain't. Get that in your head right now. Ain't nobody stronger than you as a powerful woman. Whether you are cisgendered or transgender, ain't nobody stronger than you. Don't ever let that get into your head. Don't let her rhetoric ever make you think less of yourself because somehow you're a woman and you should be soft and fragile. No. You know, I watched her show. I actually <laughs> paid $1,200 a ticket to meet her when she was coming to Toronto when I lived in Toronto, and then she canceled. She canceled because she had prior work, uh, uh, you know, engagements. No. Cuntline, you canceled because ain't nobody want to hear your bullshit. That's the way it is. And now this leads into what I really want to talk about. So a couple of weeks ago, I had a class, a, a lecture with Ryerson. And I did my makeup and I hadn't done my makeup in a really long time. It had been a while. It had been a minute. And, um, I felt great on camera. 
I, I felt totally normal. My computer's right there, you already know that. I felt totally normal, you know, makeup and everything. And then, six o'clock came around and I had to take Charlie out for a walk. This is really hard. Psychologically, I had reverted back to my pre-trans self. A bunch of kids walked towards me and I decided to cross the street because I didn't want them to laugh at me because I had makeup on. Because I thought somehow they were going to see me. As a man. Come on in, my love. Sorry, I just heard, uh, there you go, sweet girl. I just heard Fifi trying to get in the back, uh, back door there. And I had, uh, I had, I had felt that, hello, sweetheart. I had felt like they were going to see me as a man. I transitioned over 20 years ago. I've known who I was since I was five years old. Why did I feel like these kids were going to see me as a man? And it's rhetoric and the dysphoria of people like stars, like Colin Jenner, who say those things that genuinely make a trans person's dysphoria feel even worse. I reached out to a bunch of friends. I sent them all the same message. All of them were trans. And I'm so grateful for each and every one of their responses because they all said basically the same thing. That we have all been in lockdown for so long that it almost feels like our brain is rebooting. And I thought to myself, I thought, If I feel this dysphoria, I wonder how many of my followers feel it. And I'm so sorry I didn't speak out sooner. You are valid. As who you are. And this pandemic has not only shown the best of humanity, because it has, it's also brought out the worst in us our thoughts in our head that we just can't stop, especially for someone like me who has anxiety and depression. I'm, I'm still in my head. I still hear what someone said a year ago about my Tupperware cupboard. This is where Tupperware comes to die. Every single time I open that cupboard, I hear that. Just imagine that during COVID. I haven't seen my family in so long. I'm so grateful for the friends that I have here that are within my bubble because I have gotten to hug a human being. And I know so many people don't have that right now. And I don't take that for granted. Of course, I put mascara on on the day that I'm fucking crying like a baby. Thank God for apple juice. But really, it is apple juice. Um, I wanted to get on here and talk about this because I genuinely thought about how many people might be feeling like this. And I thought, if I can somehow make you feel like you're not alone, that you're not, you're not, you're not alone as in like, and I don't mean in the sense that your journey isn't special and, and, and your own. I mean, in the sense that you're not alone going through what you're going through right now with COVID. I see you. I genuinely see you. Whew. 
Ja. I hope that somehow this video helps in any way possible. If you haven't already, don't forget to comment and subscribe and join the conversation down below. I love you all so very much. And I am so grateful for each and every one of you who watch my videos. Thank you.